<laughs> Yo, what's up guys? So, um, I know I'm a bit late for my weekly upload, my bad. Um, I had a wedding and a lot of other crap <coughs> happening. But in any case, a few months ago a buddy of mine asked me to do a video on what it costs to modify a car. Now in my case, the 86 of course, and what it costs in South Africa to do the modifications I was doing. Um, I was planning on doing it back then but I decided to wait because I knew the turbo kit was coming and all that jazz. So this is going to be pretty much an overview of all the mods I've done to my car, what it costs exactly. Well, round about because I can't remember the exact number so it's going to be close enough. Um, and comparing it to what it costs to places like in the States. Because I remember when I got the car people told me turbo the char uh, turbo charge the car, turbo charge the car. I'm like, Guys, you know what it costs? So, this is going to be kind of a comparison with uh, the other markets. Very, very loose. It's, gonna, it's not going to be exact comparisons, but it's just going to be an indication of why it's such a mission to modify a car in South Africa, especially a Japanese car. So, I hope you guys enjoy the video, man. Okay, cool. So, I made a list of all the mods I've done to my car. I, I, I put it on my phone because I can't remember. And I had to actually go think. Now, <laughs> This is something no car guy should do because it's very sad. It's very sad. So I'm going to run through the um, the list, and you guys probably see at the bottom uh, an accumulation of costs, which is going to be sad for me to do probably. But anyways, let's go. Um, so the car I bought for about 220k, 230k, um, and then with all the other stuff like, and I I was a noob still, so I, I still learned. Uh, I got an extended warranty and a few other things, so I think the total price in the end was 260k. Um, but excluding that, the, the model list. So, coilovers, I did VC uh, V1 coilovers, uh, that was 14k. Uh, I did a Maxim design lip kit, which included the split in the front, the two side skirts, uh, and the two rear sprats, that was 11k. Uh, the Volk TE37 replicas, that was 10k. The tires on the Volks, they were about 6k, uh, 6K, because at least we have a tire guy. Um, I have a sound system, so the sound system is a Pioneer um, front loaded disc system, whatever, the 7 inch screen. I've got two Phoenix Gold 6x9s in the um, doors, and then I've got a Phoenix Gold sub in the back with an amp. Uh, that was 15k. Uh, I've got the harness bar, which was custom made for the car, was um, 3k. The ha SA belt harnesses, they were 2.5k. The rear spoiler, that was 2.5k. Oh no, wait, that was 3k, sorry. Headlights, the Spec Ds, um, they were 9k. The tail lights, like the Valenti uh, rear tail lights and the um, brake light bar, whatever, that was 8k. I've got LEDs, um, the interior LEDs and the underglow, that was about 200 bucks. Stickers all around the car, the interior wrap, that was about. So the interior wrap I did myself, so that was probably total 500 bucks. Um, the turbo kit, which was a 65k for the base kit essentially. Uh, tuning after that I got the turbo kit was about 10k. Um, fixing some issues we had after the turbo install. Um, so that was like vacuum lines popping off because they weren't clips. Um, we had oil leak, we needed a catch can, etc. There's quite a, a few things, I can't remember all the issues. That was about 10k. I uh, got a stage 3 plus uh, Cusco clutch. That was 21k with the fitment and all that jazz. So the clutch kit itself was 16k. Um, then I've got the flex kit, uh, that is about 15k. HK S exhaust back boxes, um, they were for the two of them, they were 7k, excluding the piping. So the, uh, the custom exhaust pipes were about 3k. Um, yeah, so the total you guys see at the bottom. Um, so that's all in all the mods that I can remember off the top of my head um, that I've done to the car. Of course there's a lot of other things I've had the car detailed like to do something here, something here, something here which I won't remember but all in all that's all the mods on the car currently. So this video I actually did for a buddy of mine, I think I did mention it earlier in the video, um, that just wanted to know. And I don't know about most people, but for me, I didn't have a family that were into cars. So I'm the only guy in my family that's into cars. So what kind of sprung my love for cars was, of course, I think most a lot of people know and understand this, was Fast and the Furious. Um, and I decided to make a what is Fast and the Furious in real life cost type video because nobody, nobody ever told me that. And 
I think it's quite interesting. And I wanted to compare what things cost around uh, here, which is Cape Town, South Africa, versus places in the States or um, Japan or whatever the hell, wherever you're looking at. Um, because it's very interesting. I know here we get slapped with so much um, uh, a VAT on, the, on any car parts. I think we get slapped like almost 100% on a lot of things, which is very annoying. So, if, for example, if I, I wanted to try and import a turbo kit before I did, took the one I got here. I think the turbo kit I was looking at was $3,500, which is already a lot of money for us. For us, that converted at the time was around about 60K. So it was 60K for the turbo kit, and that's just base turbo kit. No, no boost controller, nothing fancy like that. Um, that was 65K around, and that's, without shipping, without landing it here, anything. I think when I did the final calculations, it was 150K just to get a turbo from the States. So it's very, very expensive for us to modify cars and I wanted to do a comparison and just let people know. It's not because we don't want to do it. It's just very expensive. And it's a niche market, I mean, especially for Japanese cars. Um, so this isn't a very long video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it and saw how badly I spent money. So I hope my mom is not watching this video. Sorry, mom. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the little video. I hope it's informative and yeah, I'd still do it if I could. <laughs> I wouldn't change a thing. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace.